With the initial setup of Intrastat complete, we can now look at how we'll prepare our journals. So we'll need to set up the Intrastat journal templates and batches we intend to use. So we can get to the Intrastat journal template from here. As Intrastat is reported monthly, we'll set up 12 Intrastat journal batches for a single template. This is important as the setup we do here will determine the date filter for the entries we intend to report. There are some differences in how we set up Intrastat journals when compared to standard journals. So to start on this page, um, we've got one created, but creating an Intrastat journal template is a case of just populating the name, uh, which is our unique identifier, and if necessary, a description. To create the batches for this template, we need to have this selected. We go to More Options, Navigate, Template, and Batches. And this opens up the Intrastat journal batches page. Here is where we create our batches. We enter our name for the batch here. I've got a default one set up, um, but we can usually look to make this our unique identifier for the uh, date period that we're dealing with. So for example, May 20 uh, may be a good batch to use. We can enter a short description. There's another field you may notice is different from other journals. This is the statistics period pay, uh, field, rather. Uh, this is where we enter the year and month period as a four digit code in the format YYMM. So entering 2005 would represent May of 2020. The currency identifier field is used to enter the currency used in this Intrastat report. Leaving it blank will instruct Business Central to use the local currency instead. The reported field that we have here, if I just make this a little bigger, shows us whether entries on this batch have been reported to the tax authorities. This field is automatically enabled when the Intrastat Make Disk Tax Authority batch job is run. The field is editable, however, and may be unticked if we need to rerun the report for this batch. As we're required to submit Intrastat reports every month, creating new journal batches for each report will eventually result in a very large number of batches. These journal lines are also not deleted automatically. So to help us keep on top of things, we can look at deleting the batches that are no longer in use, and doing so will delete the journal lines that the batch held. And that's just a simple case of having the one that you need selected and then choosing the delete option from the ribbon up top.